Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A rectangle measures 17 units by 26 units. Seven squares are placed inside the rectangle as shown. The question is what is the area of a single square? A version of this problem was given to students who were 12 to 13 years old in Vietnam. I thank Ting for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? There's a clever trick that I'll admit I didn't see, but it's a beautiful solution and I want to share it with you. The trick is to focus on this right triangle. Suppose it has legs of A and B and a hypotenuse equal to C. Notice the hypotenuse is also equal to the side of the square. The trick is that we can take this right triangle and use its lengths of A and B to measure the vertical and horizontal dimensions of the entire rectangle. We'll then be able to solve for A and B and consequently we'll solve for C. So let's get started to place these right triangles to measure the vertical dimension of this rectangle. We will then do the same thing to place these right triangles to measure the horizontal dimension of this rectangle. So now let's focus on just these right triangles. Let's focus on the vertical dimension of the rectangle, which is equal to 17. We'll focus on these right triangles. Label the legs of A and B accordingly. From these dimensions, we can see that 2A plus 3B is equal to 17. We'll now focus on the horizontal dimension of 26. We'll label the legs of the right triangles accordingly. We'll get another equation. We get that 5A plus 2B is equal to 26. So we're now pretty much set up to solve this problem. We're going to focus on just these equations. We want to solve for A and B. To do that, we'll eliminate the B variable. We'll multiply the first equation by 2, which will give us 4A plus 6B is equal to 34, and we'll multiply the second equation by 3. This gives 15A plus 6B is equal to 78. We will now focus on these equations. Subtracting the second equation from the first will eliminate the B variables. We then have 11a is equal to 44, or a is equal to 4. From here, we can substitute into this equation, and we'll get 16 plus 6b is equal to 34, which means 6b is equal to 18, or b is equal to 3. We can now focus on the right triangle. Since it's a right triangle, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This leads to the equation that 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to 25, which is equal to 5 squared. So c is equal to 5, and c squared is equal to 25. We want to solve for the area of the square, which is exactly equal to c squared. This means the area of a single square is equal to 25, and that's the answer. What an interesting geometry problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.